Well, chums, we managed to beat that dungeon that I was in last time. Now we need to go and speak to Sophia. So I need to go find her. I can't even remember what she blinking looked like. Well, how do there, Charmers? Tis I, Captain of the Steve. Now I've gone back speaking to Sophia. They've managed to save the children, which is freaking awesome. And uh, yeah, just having a little mini conversation well, with her about the old captain at the moment. But after experiencing what happened this time, I feel like the three of us alone aren't enough. I felt it even more deeply with you helping us. I think it's time for our guild to let go of the name The Terrific Trio. We are so much stronger when we stand together than when we stand alone. Our guild is greater than the sum of its members, just like Captain Da Vinci's Resistance. Lovely. Sophia congratulated you on becoming a member of the Resistance. She reflected on what an honor it was to be personally chosen by Captain Da Vinci, telling you the tales of her memories of being rescued by him as a child. She also revealed her ambition to create a larger guild in order to have the skills to stand side by side with her hero. We've got an old flag here to look at. It appears to be the flag received from Da Vinci in their training days. It's a mark of the Solisium Royal Legion and something else, but I can't read it. Marines Department. Okay, fine. Okay, Infinity Wheel. This could be interesting. What's going to happen here? Is it going to be flashback time? Let's see. Oh, cool. That's some nice artwork, isn't it? As Revan Lupius's army swept across Laslin, Sophia and Rutain, siblings whose parents had died in the war, fled for their lives and lost their way in the spider forest. Their childhood friend Rob searched for them, at last discovering them hanging in a spider web deep in a cave. Holy fudge. The three children struggled to undo the webs, but in the end, they were all captured uh -oh. by the owner of the cave, Morakai, who meant to feed them to his spiders. At the very moment they thought it was all over, they heard the clash of weapons outside the cave. Rutain's hero, Captain Da Vinci, had been tracking Morakai when he found the trail left by the children. Backed by resistance soldiers, he rushed to the rescue. The hand that reached out to them in that time of despair planted dreams of heroism in the children's minds. And they resolved to become just like Da Vinci, aiding those in need. I love the story in this. It's freaking gripping. Ten years later, the strong and ambitious warrior Sophia, the charming and agile hunter Robert, and the gentle and kind wizard Rutain became known as the Terrific Trio of the Resistance. Awesome! Though the Terrific Trio possessed excellent skills and a strong sense of justice, they also endured an unhappy childhood. After Captain Da Vinci rescued them, they dreamed of following in his footsteps. Soon after, the Terrific Trio became known as the new heroes of the Resistance. That's freaking cool. Oh man, we've got so many different markers just popped up all over the place. Okay, speak to Cali, which is a thousand meters that way. Oh, we've got one that's only 130 meters up there somehow, maybe? Or maybe around the back of this? Let's, let's go and see if we can sort that one out, shall we? Let's turn into a wolf. And let's leg on up here and let's go see what we've got over here. All right, I'm slightly closer. But I'm a little bit miffed how I get there. What the? Okay, right. We go around here. Let's okay. See, where can I find some strong adventurers? That'll be me. I didn't mean to touch that. I wanted to talk to the lady. No, come out of there for one second, please. I want to talk to you. No, I want to talk to this lady with a freaking thing above her head. There we wait, go. Wait. You, the dashing adventurer over there. Well, that's How me. Would you like to explore the unknown? I can draw a dimensional circle for you if you'd like. Sounds good. Don't know what a dimensional circle is. Explain a Monday. Dimensional circles are an ancient kind of magic. It's taken a long time and a lot of effort, but I finally managed to replicate it. Lovely. What exactly is it? There's so much I want to know about the world beyond the dimensional circle. But those monsters make it nearly impossible to do any research. 
You wouldn't believe how many close calls I've had. Well, maybe they live in that dimension. You ever thought of that somewhat? Maybe you're invading it. Maybe the monsters are just the inhabitants. No, no. You seem strong enough. I bet you'd fare far better there than I have. And who knows what wonderful things you might discover while you're there. Oh, will you give it a try at least? Okay. All right. You are looking very steampunky. I have to say, you've just ticked a load of boxes in my book. You look freaking cool. I want to go find it myself, but I had an injury while escaping from the dimension last time. Oh, no. And haven't recovered yet. Alas, what can I do? Without what? it, research on the dimensional circle will come to nothing. Well, I just fell off a cliff and got zapped, but yeah, okay, cool. Uh, really? Thank yeah. you. You can probably find my research journal somewhere in the Spectre's Abyss. There right. are many interesting things beyond the dimensional circle. Maybe you'll find something special. Lovely. Instead, I recommend that when entering the dimensional circle, you go with other colleagues. You are strong enough, but it's quite dangerous there. Well, please take care of yourself. That must be the dimensional circle that I just touched a moment ago with matchmaking and all that sort of shenanigans. Right, well, I know that I've got quite a lot of crafting stuff on me and things like that. I might want to just muck about and see if I can upgrade anything else. I've got some mail down here by the looks of things as well. Yeah, come on, mail. That one. And look, I've got loads of stuff that I can collect as well. I don't know what. Did I get oh, I've got a cup of tea there. Lovely. Might as well delete these. Could have just hit delete all, couldn't I? Okay, right, that's everything that I've got there. But I probably could upgrade a few things. Oh, I've got a skill point to allocate to. I'll put that into my dexterity, I think. Lovely. Oh, yeah, apply. Still haven't really got too much in here, I don't think, have I? Yeah, I can't really do those yet. Okay, what else is there that I could be doing? I could go into skills. I'll tell you what, I'll have a little with butchers. And see if there's anything I can do. And then I okay, there is it. quite a lot that I can do. I'm actually going to increase my ability of the heal, of heal magics that I've got. So here we go. I'm going to take that up to probably about level 3 if I can. There we go. It looks like I've got loads of these books. So I could be here a little while. I'm going to go through a lot of my skills and see if there's any that I want to add. I've got a new, I've got a couple of new skills actually. Let's uh, go back a level. Because if I look at my um, wand skills, I've got... Oh, where are my wand skills? No weapon equipped. What the... Seriously? How the... All right. Give me a little bit more okay, time. Okay, jumps. Well, I've managed to get some of my skills up to a blue. Blue level two for my healing. And you can see there I've got a couple that have got up to level five. And I've really focused on one of my passives, this one here, which should help me with maximum health and maximum MP and mana points. Next off, I need to go and have a look at my actual inventory or my actual person and see if I can upgrade any of this stuff. Oh God, I didn't mean to take that off. All right, on the other screen, you right click it and you get to um, view enhancements. But here you've got to press Alt, oh, well, I don't know. I'm not too sure, I think I have to go into a separate screen or something. All right, okay, well, I'll have a look at my armor, see if there's anything okay, I found the do. right screen. Let's hit level up. Let's see if this goes blue at level six. No, still stays at green. Uh, you know, might as well continue it. Oh, max upgrade level is six for that. All right, fine. Okay, I didn't want to come all the way out of there, but there we go. I guess I can upgrade my bow a bit more. Yeah, let's do it. I haven't got many growth stones left though now. I've only, oh, I've only got one left now. Okay, all right, fine. I think that's pretty good. Milestones, all right. Is there anything that I can collect on here? Don't think so. Leveling log. Um, I have no idea what I'm clicking on. I don't think I should be purchasing anything. I think I'm good. Thank you very much. Um. Secret Dungeons. Well, I guess that's what I'm going to go into now, isn't it? So this episode might be me wandering into this portal and getting annihilated. We shall see. Okay, so we're going to Spectre's Abyss. I'm only about level 70 right now. And we're going to go for party matchmaking, I think, people. Press the Enter button to select 
Yep. Okay, I think we're going to go for yep, party matchmaking. Level 20, yeah. And enter. I think I'm matchmaking. Oh, I've joined a party. I've joined a party. This is good. Hopefully they can't hear me. Or else I'm just going to do their heads in. Right, there we go. Oh, great. I don't, I don't see a party with me. All right, well, this could be interesting. Oh, God. Attack that one first, mate. There we go. That's my new spell. Chikapow! In the face, mate. How'd you like them apples? Oh, he's not dying all that quick, is he? I think this one guy is like a boss fight for me right now. Yeah, I really do need to be able to do matchmaking. I think this guy's going to freaking kill me if I'm not careful. Yeah, I'm greatly underpowered for this. Yeah, I knew it. Knew it. Nope, I do not want to resurrect in the dungeon. I think I need to exit. The first guy freaking mullered me, mate. I'm not ready for this. Let me out. Yeah, get me out of here because I, could, I don't see a team. I did not have a team there. So I've tried it anyway. I tried it, love. It's um, impossible. Thank you. Uh, unless there's another way that I can join and do party matchmaking. I'll use my mouse this time. Let's see if we can work out how to do this a bit better. Select roll. Defensive, offensive, supportive. I'm none of these. I'm crap. Request matchmaking. Oh, here we go. This 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 might be better. Because I am level 20. I think with the right people we might be able to do this, but we'll see. I guess. Um, the time's going up. So I have no idea what's going on right now. Let's just move my controller has been activated. Okay. Um, are you going to let me in? I'll let you know when I get in there, people. We'll see if we can last a little bit longer than 10 well, seconds. Well, chums, I've been waiting for some time for the matchmaking to take effect. And there's, I don't really see an indication of how long it's going to take. I could be standing here all day. So I'm just going to cancel it. Yeah, cancel. Cancel part. Yeah. Let me out. No point. All right. We'll carry on and we'll go to some other markers, I think. Because I'm not doing too well with that one. And I think I'm greatly underpowered for it anyway. Oh, look, we've got a marker down here now. We'll go see Robert. That, that's probably a better plan, isn't it? Oh, no. Could I have forgotten it? Oh, hello. What are hello. you doing here? Um, I, I thought I'd come around and do the rounds, see how you're all doing after we rescued those kids, fantastic as we are. Anyway, what's problem with you, my friend? Well, I was thinking of making some accessories while I'm here, but I left the materials at home. Drat. I was looking forward to making an entry in my lithograph book. Oh, looks like we're going in we're going in anyway. Huh? You don't know what the Oh no. I guess we're going in. Okay, here we go. Um I didn't know it would continue doing the matchmaking in the background. Interesting. Okay. Uh I better help out, better not I? Hiya! Charge shot to the face! I guess. Oh, what about this guy? He's right behind you. Oh, fudge. I've upset him now. Sir! Take that! Okay, let's get this guy then. Oh, this is my new shot with the bow. That was quite cool, actually. I quite like that. Hiya! Let's try that one. Okay. Pretty cool. Charge shot to the face. Oh, whoops. I put the ice in the wrong place. Oh, I missed with that, didn't I? Okay. I'm still learning some of these new abilities. Some of them are a little bit more advanced than the others that I took away. 
they I hope they do more damage. Yeah, see, look, I'm doing all right now that I'm in the in a, in a team. Yeah, team us, I guess. I didn't even take any damage. Pretty nice. Okay, this is an elite shadow mancer. Take that, elite shadow mancer. Okay, right. Let's hit him with the arrows. Uh oh, I'm standing in a vortex. I get my energy back, thank you very much. Charge shots in the face! Zap! Is that you game over, mate? Heck yes! Oh, what's this? What's that? What did I just get? Is that a thing for me? Can I have it? I have no idea what that is. All right, let's head on through here then. Whoa! Charge shot! No, oh, no. Oh dear, I'm in the wrong place. Let's do a charge shot on him. We go. Zap! Oh god, there's a guy behind me. I didn't mean to do that one. I thought I'd removed this ability doing this charge up because it takes too long. Where are we going? Alright, we're going this way, are we? Well, shouldn't we just fight the boss? You know? Okay, I guess we're going to get all the goodies in here first. I'll just follow you guys and shut up. Yeah, right. Boom! Take that! There we go. That's him done. Okay. Yeah! Fireball! Charge shot, here we go. Oh no! I'm in a circle of death. There we go, got him. That's that one done. Oh, I missed with that, didn't I? Oh god, he's getting me, he's getting me good. I better hide behind this wall. Uh oh. I've got 20 seconds before I can actually get make myself any better, people. Can you, can you? You know, he's, he's a bit of a get this guy. Okay, I've got him with the, with the... There we are, someone's distracted him now. I can leg it out of here. And hopefully batter him. Charge shot. Here we go, let's get him out of the, the equation. Pow! Yeah! I need my health back. Let's do that. He's a tough one, isn't he? He took some freaking killing, that guy. Are we just legging it past all these then, are we? I guess so. Oh no. Possible. Yeah, you're done, mate. You're freaking done. Try. Oh, there's another guy right there. Charge shot in the face. Pow. Oh god. Take that, you. He's down. Alive. Well, you definitely aren't. Right, okay. Resurrection gate. What the fudge is that all about? I guess it's a checkpoint or something. Are we going in here? 
I don't like the look of this. I think we could be in trouble. Oh, bollocks. I'll just hurt myself, like, massively. Okay. What do we do? Um, oh, I don't think I should touch that. Somebody else can do it. Go for it, boogie. Okay, right. Oh, do we all have to do it? Oh, fudge. Is that it? I was expecting a massive monster to appear, but this is all... Oh, fudge. There is a massive monster. Where can it be? Are you the ones who dare to trap me? Yep, that was us. I guess. Charge shot to the base! I'm going to charge myself up for a bit. Oh, fudge. Get back. If he appears behind me now, it's going to end up in an IT death. Oh, you get! No, you get back! Oh, you get! Oh, I can't get back in. Oh, you're having a laugh, mate. Oh, I was having fun in there. What's this? Okay. Is that all I can do? I can't get in. Oh, that sucks. Dang it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm in here. What's this thing? How do I get in? Dang it. Aha. He's well out of reach. Damn it. Let me at him. Let me at him. Damn it. Darn. Man. I don't know how we get back in there. Drax of E2. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? I guess you got zapped as well. Yeah, I should have rolled or something. I didn't realise just how much death dealing stuff he could do. Get back. Alright, well he's dead. Let's go in. Let's let's go grab some stuff, shall we? For our contributions, I guess. I'll have some. Lovely! I got loads of stuff. I don't know about you guys. Lovely, lovely stuff. What's up here? Nothing. Okay. Let's get out then. Okay. You have obtained high tier equipment. Nice. Did I just nick it though? Oh no. Could I have forgotten it? Well, we better continue talking to this guy, better we? We look at our high tier equipment in a moment. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Yeah, I'm back. I went into a portal, mate. I had a splendiferous time. I got murdered. Well, I was thinking of making some accessories while I'm here. All right, okay. But I left the materials at home. Well, it's night time now. Right. I was looking forward to making an entry in my lithograph book. Okay. Huh? You don't know what the lithograph book is? No, not a clue. You can put equipment you don't use into the book and receive various upgrade materials. Oh, nice. I like the sounds of that. I want one. I heard that merchants from a faraway continent created this book to collect equipment in Silesium. Very nice. Just a rumor, though. Okay. <laughs> I feel like someone is watching me. Could it be one of my fans? Oh, this is so <laughs> tiresome. Is it? Okay. Brilliant. Okay, so... He mentioned about doing something. All right, let's go up there. Let's see what that person's all about. How do I get up there? Okay, it's just over this end, I guess. Hello. Who the fudge well, are you? You caught me. You must be pretty good if you managed to notice me watching. I'm Baze from the Endless Collectors Association. You're kind of hard to miss, mate. You're a big frickin' wolf. An Endless Collectors Association? Okay, this just gets weirder. Explain. Our organization is collecting every kind of equipment there is. In the beginning, 
We only collected tools crafted by the most decorated craftmasters. No, oh, nice. But we soon realized that no matter how insignificant the equipment, each has a piece of its crafter's soul in it. That's why we decided to collect everything in the world. Well, uh, that's a lot of collecting, mate. That's like Pokemon, like, next level. We invented the lithograph book to help make that a little easier. Right, okay. With a tool like this one, anyone can lend a hand in collecting equipment. Yes, please. What do you say? Well, I need a lithograph you book first. Yeah, okay. Sure, we'll accept anything. We don't care if it's new or old. It's even fine if you don't have the equipment on hand just yet. You're welcome any time. Right. Happy to have help from a capable adventurer like you. Thank you. In advance. You're the weirdest eyes I've ever seen. In the Inter village, you met Robert, who taught you about the lithograph book and its advantages. When you felt watchful eyes upon you, you were quick to chase the spy. A lichen named Baze, a member of the Endless Collectors Association, had been observing you from afar. He explained the lithograph book's purpose and requested your cooperation in completing it. Goodness, what okay. the heck is going on here? Where is the oh, lithograph book? Here we go. Check your lithograph book. Um, am I wearing these? It would help if it told me whether they were equipped or not, wouldn't it? You know, it's like I know this isn't equipped. And I don't think I'm going to use it. Okay, let's uh, add that in there then. When you have any unused equipment, check your lithograph book. Okay, registered. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, man. There's a lot we could be sticking in there, isn't there? See, I don't need that anymore. I can add that in there. What about this? When you have any unused equipment, My check your lithograph book. Okay. I think I should keep that, maybe? I don't know about... I honestly don't know what I'm doing, so... Goodness, what the heck is going on here? Yeah, I have no idea, mate. I don't want to go and scrap stuff that I don't want to scrap, you know what I mean? Does he want to talk to me again? No, he doesn't. That's cool. When you have any unused equipment, check your lithograph. Seriously? Unbelievable! If you've taken someone, you should at least tell me where I can find him. What are you on about? I have no idea what you're on about, love. <sighs> My husband was admitted to the clinic for a while, and they suddenly said it was an epidemic and sent him some quarantine. Oh, God, it's happening in this world as well. In my days. It's like COVID all over again. Okay. It's somewhere outside town, but they won't tell me exactly where it is. Ugh, what should I do? Is there any chance my husband is still alive? I'll tell you what, I'll go take a look, shall I? Gosh, I'm so sorry. You're the first person who's offered to help me, and it's brought tears to my eyes. Oh, yeah? Could you deliver this letter to the Resistance? Last I heard, they were helping patients on the outskirts of town. Perhaps they'll know something about where to find my husband. Pokey, pokey, piddly pokey. Leave it to me. Goodness, what the heck is going on here? Yeah, I'll find out. Don't you worry. Right, let's head on this way then. Mister. It's just on the outskirts of town, is it? So maybe it's this marker that I'm moving to now. It might not be, though. I'll just try and clear all these little purple markers and see what happens. I need to have a look at what I just got from that dungeon. Apparently, I got some high-grade equipment. Let's have a quick look at what I got, shall I? Inventory. What did I get given? Holy fudge, I've been given an awesome freaking sword. Okay. Look at that. Not that I use sword. Okay. Let's head on over there, then, anyway. Hello. Oh, what brings you here? I'm looking for some lady's husband. Yeah, you know me, do you? What the fudge? It's me, Sophia. Oh, fair I've enough. Been incinerating the patient's contaminated belongings. Man, things are pretty bad right now. Anyway, right. What brings you here? Looking for some lady's husband. Yeah. Oh, okay. Apparently not. I have a letter for Julia and Romeo. Julio. Okay, yeah. got it. 
but I'm so busy right now that I'm not sure I can deliver it right away. Ah, uh, fair enough. Oh, right. Actually, now that you're here, would you mind helping me out a bit? Why, well, incinerating people? The articles here. Otherwise, they could potentially spread the illness. Right, Thanks okay. Your help. I didn't actually say I would, but okay, fine. We're burning stuff, are we? All right. Lovely. And then put it into here, right? How many times have I got to do this? Okay, just the one. That's fine then. I'll go grab this, whatever this is. Lovely! We've got ourselves a mysterious book. Lovely. I'm going to talk to her. Thank you. It's not a problem. Smoothly, thanks to you. Ah, oh, this letter that I gave you. Oh, right, the letter. You said the person who asked you to deliver it was named Romeo? Yeah, the lady over there. It's about her husband. Actually, it's Dr. Leonardis who's caring for all the patients sent outside town now. They've been quarantined, so I can't visit either. Okay. It will be faster if you discuss this letter with Dr. Leonardis instead of me. Will you do that? Yeah, where's Dr. Leonardis? Is there Donatello, Raphael and Michelangelo there too? He's in the clinic in Vienta Village Plaza. He's very busy looking after patients nowadays. But if you say I sent you, you should be able to meet him there. Okay, lovely. I'll give it a go. In the clinic, you say? We right. the Resistance want to help. But Dr. Leonardis said there was a risk of spreading infection if many people got involved. Right. So this is as far as I can go. So there's an infection. How does it transfer exactly and how can I help? If you can, would you ask Dr. Leonardis if there's anything simple to be done? Groups are off limits, but perhaps it will be different for you solo. All right, give it a go. Sweet. Let's go see a Leonardus, shall we? In the clinic. Over this way. Now, someone mentioned about getting some trinkets and some accessories. I, myself, haven't upgraded my accessories for some time. Could look at that, I suppose. I could do that offline, though. You know, you don't have to see every little moment that I spend in game, do you? Hello there, Leonardus. Oh, well, great. I just walked into a desk. Oh, welcome. Come over this way. I'm not liking this and new fashion. See. How much pain are you in? I'm in none. I, I've actually got a letter and I've got inquiries. Inquiries! What? Then why are you here? I'm quite busy now, so if you're not here because you're injured, then please return later. I have a letter for Julio from Romeo. Oh, Julio. I see. Hmm. I'll deliver this letter, don't worry. Just be on your way now. There must be a way I could lend a hand, surely. Goodness, no. Leaving here quickly would be helpful. Okay. Sophia requested I asked to help you, but it's, it's okay. Sophia okay. worries over nothing. Then check on the patients here. And in particular, if any are hearing things. Do tell me. Alright. Okay. Medical tools. Won't we'll, we'll have them. No, we won't. Okay, hello. So long as they are hearing hallucinations. Okay, I keep murmuring him currently. Okay, fine. Uh, that wasn't the one that I need to speak to, I guess then. <gasps> hello, mate! <gasps> Al's Bings! Blood. <sighs> Offer. Offer blood? This sounds like a curse. Like blood magic. Blood. Or a vampire, perhaps. <coughs> what do you want? Um, I was wondering whether you would like a sore throat sweet or something. I mean, what sore, what, what, what symptoms do you have? Oh, yes. It's hard because I can't stop coughing. My throat is so sore and my head is pounding. Sounds like you need paracetamol, love. Are you hearing things that others do not? Yes, I do. I recently heard a strange noise at night, and nowadays I hear it during the day as well. Pray tell, what is said strange noise? Uh, I hope I'm discharged soon. The medicine Dr. Leonardis gave me is working wonders. Medicine? What do you mean? Dr. Leonardis said if I take this green medicine as prescribed, I may hear things. But he said that's just a harmless side effect. 
Righto, this sounds a bit dodgy. The person who was next to me until recently had hallucinations so bad she talked in her sleep. But one day, I noticed she had been discharged. I don't know about discharged. Alright, okay. Right, well, we checked on the. Oh, there's another one over here. Um, how do I get to you? Around this side, I guess. Uh, who's there? From the resistance, my name is Captain Steve. Anne! Uh. My stomach still hurts. Okay. And I have a bit of a headache. Righto. You're not hearing anything or um, seeing things or whatever. Lately, I've been hearing strange noises at night. Yeah. They wake me up, then it's difficult to get back to sleep. What sort of noises? Still, I'm lucky. Lucky about how? How do you consider yourself lucky? I initially came to the clinic because of a stomach ache, but Doctor Leonardus diagnosed me with this strange disease, so I was admitted. Oh, this Doctor Leonardus is getting more sketchy by the moment. I took some of the green medicine he prescribed. If it hadn't been for Doctor Leonardus, I never would have known how sick I was. Uh, well, sounds like this medicine is making them sick and hearing things. I've got a bad feeling about this. I want out of here. All right. Hello, healer in freaking air quotes. How are did you? Did you meet all the patients? Did you check those who are hearing things? I did. Yeah, the various stages of deterioration, mate. Oh, really? <laughs> it's finally begun. Thank you for your help. Why you did you laugh? I don't trust you one bit, sir. Does each patient suffer from different diseases? Everyone has different symptoms, but it must be a plague. Can't you see they're conducting research to ensure the patient's symptoms don't worsen? Mate, this is sketchy as fudge. What's this green medicine you've been giving them? Green medicine? What are you talking about? Cut the crap and get out! Um... This is a bit weird. Maybe it's maybe it's the assistant that's doing all this. Yeah, I, I maybe it's maybe it's the assistant. Fine. Anyway, we've been we've been kicked out. And it was night time when I went in there, so I'm surprised that they didn't say that they could hear the sounds there. The artists at the clinic seem to really dislike visits from outsiders. <laughs> yeah, just he a tad. you to help once you heard Sophia's name, but all the patients' responses to your questions seemed odd. They really did. You asked about the green medicine they all mentioned, and Leonardus immediately became angry and kicked you out. Very odd. Let's go and report back to Sophia. Oh, so you've been to the clinic? Well, I was going to ask anyway. Did you meet Dr. Leonardus? He's a freaking weirdo. He was very suspicious. Really? Something suspicious occurred out of the blue. What happened? They all mentioned green freaking medicine and hearing things, and their symptoms actually got worse when they took the green medicine. Oh, that green medicine. I've seen it. Dr. Leonardus was prescribing it for patients without even asking for a fee. It seems rather dodgy. That's a red flag, right? So, there was never any epidemic? And it was all because of that green medicine? Dr. Leonardus lied? Uh, that's kind of what everything's pointing to. I mean, I didn't actually say that, did I? But why? Dr. Leonardus has always been a very dedicated physician here. Why would such a person do something like that? Population control, perhaps? Um, to an uh, extra controls if a pandemic does appear all of a sudden? You know? Yes. I trust your judgment. Will you hear the truth if you ask Dr. Leonardus? Uh, okay. Hmm. I heard he leaves the clinic every night. Why don't you search it then? If this is true, it's no time to be picky about your methods. I'll investigate a different avenue. But please, come to me immediately if you learn anything. Not too sure how to change the time of day. Oh, okay. It's changing it automatically. Brilliant, eh? I think it is, anyway. Well, it's night time now, I guess. Who freaking knows? We're going back in. Who's there? 
Leonardo's assistant. He's got all freaking wobbly. What the fudge are you? Uh, look, mate, don't you even try it. I will hurt you. I'm not. I'm, right, that's your warning. Get out of it. Get it back. Mate, don't. Right, there you go. That, that's for you. Freezing death. How'd you like that? Bit of fire? There you go. Are you flammable? I hope you're freaking flammable. Oh, the get back got all of his health back somehow. Get out of it, mate. Freaking have that. Boom. Mate, just stop already, huh? Right, charge shot. Oh, you get back. Let me do my charge shot at you. Yeah, there you go. Woo wee! He was a git. He deserved every every ounce of that, didn't he? Oh, what's up there? There's like a blue gem or something. Can't get in there to get to it. It's all blocked off. Dang it. Right. Let's have a look at his journal then. Oh no, can't get in there. Oh, hold on. Can I just do that on these as well? That'd be handy. No. Dang it! Well, they must be made out of different paper. All right, let's go into here then. 31 additional sacrifices procured. What? Conditions favorable. Fake epidemic plan successful. Seriously? Now, everything is prepared. Holy fudge. <laughs> Tonight, the blood ritual will be performed there. The human's blood will be mine, and their bodies will become ghouls to serve me eternally! A little bit like his assistant. That's what's happening to- they're turning into ghouls! Dang it! Okay. Open the clinic door and move to Traveller Plaza. What about all these people that he's got in here? Are we not going to- Oh, they're all gone. They're all freaking gone. He's a get back. Okay. It's very dead at night, isn't it? As Sophia suggested, you snuck oh, into Leonardus's clinic at night and saw an unexpected sight. The patients were gone and the person watching the place attacked you. You yep. defeated him and discovered a journal that contained a plan to fake an epidemic so as to secretly gather human sacrifices. According to the journal, this blood ritual will be held tonight. Holy mackerel. Well, Sophia's L Lieutenant Alban is here. Uh, adventurer, what are you doing here? Uh, I was hoping to find Sophia. Where is she, mate? Oh, you're a step behind. She was here a moment ago. Sophia's investigators returned and reported their findings. She looked serious. Right, serious, you say. Ominous, right. She left this place to me and went away urgently. Mm. She said she was going to the wine storehouse near... Vienta Vineyard? What's wrong? Okay, here's the situation, mate. Zombies. Okay, zombies. Ghouls. Uh, I don't know much about it, but it seems something big is happening. I'll contact Sophia's guild members first. You Cheers. You go to the wine storehouse and try to find Sophia, right? Uh, uh, understood. You Sweet. hurried to the plaza to tell Sophia what you had found at the clinic. But she wasn't there. A resistant soldier in the plaza said Sophia had received a report from an investigator and mm. then quickly gone to the wine storehouse near Vienta Vineyard. Sweet. To my dear wife, Romea, I hope you received my last letter. I haven't got your response yet, but I write to you again anyway. I'm still coughing slightly, but after taking the green medicine from Leonardus, I feel much better. I sometimes hear things that are not there, but maybe that's the fever. I hope to see you soon. I write to you again. Love, Julio. P.S. Leonardo has just told me hearing things is just a sign that I'm almost fully cured and I'll be able to leave soon. See you soon, my love. He's becoming a ghoul. That's what's happening to him. Cartwheel marks. Oh, for fuck's sake, is Sophia already freaking gone? I can't even do cartwheels. Oh, not those sort of cartwheels. A cart, like a horse and cart. Okay, let's follow the cartwheel marks. Run like the wind! Here we go! Lovely, lovely! 
Uh oh, we're still going. I guess we are. Why is there a load of children just running around here? Okay. They seem to be terrified, running with their hands over their faces or whatever. Okay, cartwheels go this way. Hmm. This is not feeling. It's kind of. I'm feeling a little bit nervous about this, to be honest, people. Oh, it's freaking miles. Okay, hold on. Looks like we're approaching our destination on the old sat nav in the top above my head there. Cool. Oh, here's the car. The marks are from this cartwheels. The marks are so deep. It must have been carrying something heavy. Probably bodies. Okay, let's go on in. They're all going to be turned into ghouls, aren't they? Yes, let's go in. I don't think this is going to be very nice. Is that Leonardus? What the flying fudge? What was he doing to her? Don't say he's been giving her freaking... Don't be... Oh, I hope she's not a ghoul. To help her out. You okay? Oh, fudge. Keep away! I'm warning you! There you go. Have that. Keep away! I don't like you! Take that. Right. Let's charge shot this guy in the face. Got that one. Okay, right. I'm going to have that. Let's get a bit of regen going on. Not that I really needed it right then, but I've got a feeling that there's going to be more of these. Damn it, missed. Take that. On fire with thee. Okay, there we go. I've tried to stop them. What transpired here? I mean, I just saw some guy feasting on you. Okay, great. Oh my god. She has wounds, two wounds. I thought he might be a vampire. Someone's glasses. It's his glasses. Yeah, they're Dr. Leonardus. I think he's become a vampire. That's what I think's happened. I think the ritual Sophia, was Sophia. to make him into a I vampire. Such a thing. I think it was I Dr. Leonardus. Here right away. What happened? Freaking mental. On I, her neck. I think he might be a vampire, mate. Serious. What? The, the blood ritual? It, it can't be. Yeah, yeah. I read about that in books. And I thought vampires had disappeared long ago. Oh, uh, right, yeah. If the blood ritual was really held here, even my magic will be useless. And Sophia will end up as a ghoul. Oh, no, seriously? C can she be cured? She's probably one of my favourites amongst you guys. Not that I should have favourites. The only way to cure her is to find and kill the one who made her this way. But the problem is... An ordinary human's power is no match for a vampire. Well, I'm pretty darn freaking dexterous, you know what so, I mean? So, there used to be people called vampire slayers long ago. Oh, wait, maybe we can use a guardian's pledge. I have no idea what a guardian's pledge is, but tell me more. I've heard that a vampire slayer's pledge was discovered near Stone Guard Castle. In simple terms, a pledge is imbued with the power of a hero from the past. Right. Jake Hander, leader of the Stone God Resistance, is a famous Guardian's Pledge Collector. He may have a Vampire Slayer's Pledge in his possession. Seriously? You want me to go... Good. Okay, all right, I'll go find Jack S and the artifact, Please yeah. Please do. You should be able to find him at Stone God Castle. If you intend to fight a vampire, you must borrow that Guardian's Pledge. I'll look after Sophia. Please hurry. Just don't get yourself bitten, all right? If I know Jake Hander. He's sure to have that Guardian's Pledge. If you can only borrow it. All right. You went to the wine storehouse, but you were too late to Dang stop it. the blood ritual. Rutain said that if you kill the vampire who attacked Sophia, you'd prevent her from being turned into a ghoul. To right. do that, you needed to borrow the Guardian's Pledge belonging to a vampire slayer. Stone Guard Resistance Leader, 
Let's go. Let's go. Right. Holy fudge. There's a lot of people here right now, isn't there? Um, Stones Guard Castle. It seems to be miles away, people. Well, you know what? I think we've done enough in today's episode. I know it's a cliffhanger. I'm sorry, it's a cliffhanger. But this is well over an hour right now, and it looks like I've got a bit of travelling to do. We need to get this pledge. We need to rescue Sophia. Oh, my days! I can't wait till next episode, people. I honestly can't. I know you guys are just watching, but this is freaking riveting. Riveting stuff. I'm now level 24. Till next time. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.